How you guys doing? So we're back with another episode on our down payment assistance lender series. Before we start, make sure to go like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with everything that we have coming in the future. We got a lot of great information in this one, guys, so make sure to watch all the way to the end. And if you do make it through, go share this information. If you think it's good, if you think it's valuable, go let a family member know, a friend, because we truly believe everyone can use this information and it really will be beneficial moving forward. So I just want to get that out to you. Now let's get into the episode. How you guys doing? So we're back with our down payment assistance lender series. Today we got a special guest from Diversify Mortgage Group. We're here with Jeff McGarry and we're going to be talking about Cal HFA. I'm just going to be going through the loan and he's going to be giving us a little more information, details as we go through the questions. So to start off, um, Jeff, do you want to give any background, just kind of your experience within the industry and just kind of like how long you've been around? I've been in the mortgage business uh, quite a few years and uh, I've only worked with two companies my entire career. So I feel very, very proud of that. Very happy with that. I'm with Diversified Mortgage Group. We're in Pleasanton and we also have an office down in Fremont as well and um, serve the, service the state of California. Haven't quite gotten licensed yet in those other states, but I think there's enough to do in California and, oh, and yeah. in the Bay Area, especially. <laughs> Keeping you busy. Yeah. And I work with the California Housing Finance Agency, also known as Cal HFA. And it's a fantastic program for first time home buyers to take advantage of uh, buying a home and getting some assistance. Okay. So, um, starting off with the Cal HFA, what areas does the program cover? Uh, it, it covers the state of California. There are there are limits. Obviously, each county in the state of uh, in the state of California, they've got uh, income limits and there are loan limits as well involved. And depending on where you want to buy, we'll we'll go through that that category. There are credit score uh, requirements as well, minimum scores that that are involved. That they're actually. Uh, being redone right now they'll be coming out again in january on on what the new scores will be looking like uh for for borrowers and, and uh yeah go ahead i was gonna say do you know uh kind of like a range people can expect for above, um the credit score? above 640 above, above 640, 640. Uh, i could even go to 660 in in mm -hmm. some some categories as well right. um fha is 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 being used at you know, for that program right now, it's a super, super way to buy a home with, with little or no money down. Okay. Okay. And as far as the uh, loneliness, do you have an idea as far as a range for those as well? I know you said they're- Well, we're, we're now up uh, the high balance loan limit in, uh, in uh, Alameda County, Contra Costa County is up to $822,000 is, is, is that limit. So anything that's three and a half percent above that would, would be your purchase price. So I'll do a quick calculation here. Let me grab my calculator. Oh yeah. 22.965. So that puts a borrower at about $852,000 for a purchase price. It's exactly. pretty good. Yeah. 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 And, um, so can this program be, be combined with any other down payment assistance programs? Really don't need to. Um, my, my understanding is that, uh, that no, because it's a first mortgage, a second mortgage, and a third mortgage. Uh, ultimately, first, second, and third, or three mortgages. Does a borrower need to do the, do the third? No. If they have money, they, they can obtain... Uh, I'm, I should say they don't need to do the third mortgage, but if you can take advantage of a first mortgage, a second mortgage, and a third mortgage to cover all of your, cover not not all, but most of your down payment and your closing costs, that, that's pretty good. Uh, so th that's, it, it gets layered that way, first mortgage, and then a second mortgage um, for the 3% for your down payment. And then there's another 3% for your, for your close up to 3% for your closing costs. So it's a total of 6% that can be loaned to you in this program or with this program. And um, is this program a grant? No, no. The uh, second mortgage there, it's uh, simple interest being charged on the loan. I believe it's 3% right now is the interest that's being charged on the second. The third mortgage uh, is not having any interest that's being charged on it, 
but both of those loans are, um, are due and payable upon the sale of the home uh, or a refinance. You, you need, to, need to pay them off. Okay. And um, so as they're going through this, are you allowed to have seller credits? And if they are allowed seller credits, what is the max for that? Seller credits are allowed in, in the transaction. Uh, typically, I would say that with, when we look at the layering of the first, the second, and the third mortgage, you would need, I, 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 wouldn't, I would be surprised if you needed more than 3% from the seller uh, at, at that point to help with the rest of the transaction on that. One thing about the Cal HFA loan is that it is a true borrower paid loan, which means that you take all the closing costs on the loan and you basically put them on one side of the ledger and then you add in your, your um, second mortgage, the amount of money for the second and then the amount of money for the third mortgage and then whatever's left over then would be the contribution from the buyer. However, the seller could pick up that, those, those funds. Um, on an FHA loan, the borrower must make a down payment of three and a half percent. So they, they would be required to cover that other half a percent of the loan themselves, which, you know, that's not bad. It's not much money. Yeah. And um, as far as a time limit when the funds are available, uh, what would that be? You mean how, how long should the transaction take? Yes. They're, they're, they're able to wrap these transactions up these days um, um, at or around 30 days. Okay. okay. Yeah. Have they been done faster than that? Yeah, they, they have been done faster than that. Uh, and, but I would, I, would allow, I would allow 30 days for the transaction Safe. to close. Yeah, comfortably, so you're not <laughs> giving any false hope right there. Exactly. <laughs> and um, so we kind of touched on the beginning, but what type of program is it? City, federal, county for uh, the Cal HFA? It's a state program, okay. state of California program. And, um, and do you only need to be a first time home buyer to utilize this program? Yes and no. <laughs> the definition of a first time home buyer is anyone who has not owned a home in the last three years. However, there are some, there are some parameters allowed for uh, displaced um, borrowers, someone going through, possibly going through a divorce, um, you know, extenuating circumstances uh, may allow someone who has owned a home in the last three years to still have the opportunity to, to buy under this program, but it's, it's case by case. Yeah. yeah. So you guys make sure we'll, when you have a question, check back in with Jeff and he'll be able to answer that for you. And exactly. um, yeah, so those are just the main questions. Now I just want to say um, any pros, cons, any kind of final points you would like to touch on just about the Cal HFA program. I think the most important thing to remember about this loan program is that um, because it is an assistance program, you're in a perfect world, you're able to buy a home with very little of your own money. So with that, sometimes depending on how much of a, of a layering system you receive in this transaction, the interest rate may be a little bit higher than, than the market. And that's just, that's part of the, that's part of the process. That's part of the transaction that's involved. So you see at interest rates that are being advertised in the, you know, in the twos, for, for example, this Cal HFA program may have interest rates that are in the threes. There's another program that's actually in the fours for, for borrowers. Is that higher than, than, than the current market? It is. Put some money down, then you'll get the lower interest rate. With the assistance program, they're going to have potentially a higher rate of interest. So keep in mind that with the Cal HFA program, if you want to refinance your first mortgage, you're going to need to make an arrangement to pay off the second and the third, or the second mortgage, or both, it, whichever arrangement you've set up. They will not subordinate. 
They're not subordination means that they step aside, allow the new first mortgage to be done and at a lower interest rate, they want their money. They want their, if you're going to refinance, they want to be paid off. I don't blame them because the sooner they get paid off, the faster they can put that money back out into circulation. That's what it's all about, circulating those funds. So um, they want, you know, obviously they want to make a return on the second mortgage. 3% is not bad. And the, the third mortgage, it, there's no interest that's being paid. However, it does need to be paid back at some point. So that's, that's, it. that's just the part of it that I, I want people to be aware of is that if you're going to refinance or want to refinance your first mortgage to a lower rate of interest, you'll need to pay the second and third off as well. And if you don't have the funds to do it, then you, you just may need to wait until you either can obtain those funds or you have enough equity in your property, you know, based you upon making your monthly pay mortgage off. payment to pay that, pay it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a that's question. a huge tip. So yeah, thank you. You're Go welcome. Ahead. My pleasure. And I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can you buy multi units with this property? I mean, with no. the program? No, no, mm -hmm. no, it's, okay. uh, it's not it's not designed uh, to uh, it's not designed for multi units. It's a single family dwelling, condo, townhome, single unit property. Okay. 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 Great. Any other questions, okay. y'all? All good? Perfect. <laughs> That's it. All right. That's it. So, you know, thank you, Jeff. I really appreciate you sharing everything about Cal HFA. Uh, for you guys that watched all the way to the end, he dropped some gems, some really good information that you can carry with you moving forward. So, you know, once again, thank you, Jeff. Um, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Until next time. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.